Okay, this video will show you how to set up um, categories that you may or may not want to use throughout the year. And uh, when we're on, we're, you need to be logged into your grading uh, book program. And the first thing I want to look at, again, like I showed you when we did the class info, is to come up under Tools and click on Grade Scales first. Now, I've already done this with the video on class info, but uh, just good to look at it again. This is um, you, there's nothing you do on this screen. This is just an informational screen that shows you the grading scales. And there's two that are in here, default and there's high school four point. And when I click back and forth like this, I'm not actually uh, changing the which grade point that my grade program is going to use. It's just letting you look at the different ones. And the high school four point is the one that we use. So if you click on that, you'll be able to see the one that the grading scale that we can use and uh, the grades what the percentages go to and then if you get down to the bottom you can see some other letters that you'll be able to use when you do like manually override or if you want to put in a W for withdrawal and IN for incomplete those are the ones that you would use so let's close that out and let's go to tools again and go to categories and if you were here last year then the categories that you used um, will all still be uh, in here and uh, um, so you can uh, reuse them again. There's really nothing you need to do if you're going to use some of the same categories. Uh, so if I want to add um, some category, something uh, brand new, then I can come down here and I can click on uh, plus and it'll put a new category in and I'm going to call this uh, practice and abbreviate it however you want to abbreviate, it doesn't really matter. And then the color of the folder, I can choose any kind of color I want choose all of there and um, then these uh, sections here for like points possible let's say that this is uh, gonna be like chemistry quizzes and so all of my chemistry quizzes ha actually happen to be like 20 points 20 points each so what I what I would do is in this points possible I would put in uh, 20 and that means anytime that I uh, create a new assignment and I put it into this uh, category it'll pop up um, with the points possible to pop up a 20 into that slot. Now that doesn't mean I have to have it be 20. I can, if I'm going to actually do a 40 point quiz, then I can change that to 40. But uh, this just is kind of a shortcut. It, it kind of puts a default number in there. If you happen to have tests and they're all like 100 points each, then you put 100 in here so every time your test comes up, it would, it would put in 100 points for you and then if you didn't want to do 100 points, you could change it. So uh, it, it just kind of makes it a little bit easier. Score type, uh, points, percentage, or letter grade. Um, I am assuming most of you put points. I know some of you do some other weird things, but uh, most people will just have, keep that on points. And then this, you can click to not include in your final grade or to include in your final grade. Here you can put a uh, description. These are hard uh, assignments or something. Okay? And then. Uh, that uh, category will now be in there okay and uh, if I want to not have that category in there if I want to get rid of a category I can just click on that category and click the minus button and it'll go away I just deleted that category out okay you will not be able to delete that category out if you have already created some assignments that you have uh, used that category for if the category is attached to some assignments you already made you will not be able to uh, delete it so most of these up here, since I used them last year, I will not be able to delete them out. But I could always just create a new one uh, and, and use it for this year if I want, if I don't want to use some of the old ones that I've used. Okay, you'll notice that uh, nowhere in here did we actually put a uh, percentage for what that category is worth. That's not what we're doing in this section. All we're doing in this section, this is very difficult, I think, for people to understand, all we're doing is making a bank of possible categories that we might want to use. We don't uh, attach a percentage to that category until we start doing the grade setup. And when you can watch the grade setup video, you'll see where we, where we attach a percentage uh, to it. We're just making a bank of categories here that uh, we can choose from um, uh, later on when we're doing our grade setup. And this doesn't even mean, even if you do straight points, you'll still do this. Even if you do straight points, you'll still do this. Like for instance, I do category weight. So like my tests are worth 45%. So a lot of times people think that's the only time you'd have to do the categories. No, you'll do categories even if you do straight points because what we can do later on is even if you're doing straight points, 
you can use the filter to filter out um, your categories. So like even though you're doing straight points, you might have like chemistry tests and you could filter out chemistry tests to just see how they do on tests. Or you could filter out to see how they do on homework assignments, even though you're using straight points all the way through. So this categories here, this is just a bank of categories and has nothing to do with if you're using category weights or not, percentages. It's just a kind of a, a folder that uh, you could put certain assignments into. I hope that makes sense. But that's how we uh, can do our categories and you can make as many categories as, as uh, you want here and uh, we uh, can choose from those later when we set up our uh, grades.